Saturday morning, I'm not going to feed them. I'm a cha I changed my feeding schedule. I'm not going to feed them until tonight. So today I'm just going to give them some water so they can sustain throughout the heat of the day. But then later on tonight, I'm going to come through with some 511 and water them. All right, let's get started. If you haven't seen an update of the garden, let me show you. Look at her. Look at, I call her a her, but I think it's a him. So, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yes, yes. Gorgeous, gorgeous. She kicking in the gear. She ain't playing. Look at that. Gorgeous. I do believe this is the cherry tomato. Yes. Black cherry tomato. Looking really, really good. Uh, looking really, really good. Look at them blossoms. Look at the blossoms. Look at the beautiful blossoms. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at that. I do believe, I think it's a self-pollinator. It's an indeterminate which means you don't have to prune it back. It doesn't say if it needs a pollinator, but I don't think it does. But I think it's just simply gorgeous. Then we come over here. And we have some more. What are you? Chocolate. This is a chocolate tomato that I grew from seed. Uh, the rest of these, the truth is, I don't know. I think, I think some of them are chocolate tomatoes and some are, uh, the black cherries, cause them are the only two I'm growing. This right here, I have no idea because the tag blew off of it. So we're going to wait and see. Then, look at this. Out of all of these, this one grew, but it fell over. And these three. I put uh, three seeds in each section. Um, I do believe that's green onion. Here's a tomato plant. Isn't she pretty? Just a growing little thing. Mm-hmm. Here, I do believe I have leeks. Let me come around the other side so you can see. Okay. Oh, that's even worse. Let's go back over to the other side. All right. Get your close-up. I do believe these are leeks running all the way down here. And then here is the assorted um, colored carrots. I think that's what that is. This one go running along here. I don't know what that is yet. I can't remember offhand. Here, we have some transplanted, we have some transplanted radishes. 
Look at them all up and pretty. Here I did some transplanting of some baby carrots. They tops just be falling over. And I left this one out instead of taking it in the house. But this is the baby carrots. I'm trying to get them a little bit bigger. But they were in here. And here goes some more. I had to, they were all bunched together, so I had to gently break them apart. And that's why I only have four in here. And the rest of them are up here. See? All right. Then the other day I bought three more plants. Um, the New Orleans gardener said when you first get your plant to check them to make sure there's no bugs in them. And she said, the, I just found a bug, I just squished it. Uh, she said to keep them quarantined for 24 hours. I'm sorry, for 10 days. And since I really didn't have nowhere to put them, I got these cute little bags from Aldi. And um, they're vegetable bags and they're real, real fine mesh. And so I put them in here. Now, right here, this one here, let me back up so you can see. This one here has a strawberry, nice, healthy strawberries. This one here has a strawberry, has, is strawberries, as you can see. There's a little strawberry growing, and there's a little one right, a little baby one right there growing. So, and I have them in a tray to still give them water and what they need, except I'm not releasing them because they said when you bring in new plants, you're going to have to check them under their leaves on top and check the soil. So then that way... If they have anything on it, you can either choose another plant or you could just kill them with your fingers. Because you don't want to enter, if you don't have a trouble, any trouble with bugs, you don't want to introduce bugs into your garden. It can devastate your whole entire garden. So that's why they're in these little mesh bags. Here, <laughs> watch this. This one right here that I'm flipping around, this one is a snack a snack bell bell peppers and there's three bell peppers that was already on it when i purchased it look at that look at that i know it's hard to see i'm just not ready to open it up yet i just bought them earlier this week but i am gonna put some water in this tray all right now let's go over We'll come back to that one. Let's come on over here to the morning sun, folks. Okay, you have water that will sustain you for the rest of the day. These are all uh, cherry bell radishes. Um, let's see. Yeah. These were... The two pieces that I pruned off of the other plant, they didn't do so well. So, but it seems like they still have a strong trunk. Well, this one does too, a little bit. So I'm going to prune these down. But it still feels like they have a strong trunk. It doesn't feel squishy or slimy, so they'll probably survive. They're in transplant shock. They said they go through it. Some survive, some don't. And then, can you believe this was only just a little stick? This is my pomegranate. And I'm going to plant that in something bigger. I need to get some more soil is what I need to get. Then over here is a nice pretty radish coming up. And then these, that's a little radish. This is 
I do believe it was one of my tomatoes I tried to transplant. It's still doing good. This one's not so hot. That one not so hot. This one here is, uh, what's the name of that plant that helps get rid of mosquitoes? Um, I can't think of it, but it's in, the oil is it like in candles and stuff. But that's what that is. Thought I'd get me a little piece to ward off any mosquitoes. Here we have a hybrid cucumber. And look. She's coming up. Look at her come up. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at all them pretty little blooms. Yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Ooh. That's soft. And then all of these are cherry bell radishes that I transplanted in here. They were all in one container together and I had to break that situation up. Here is my wheatgrass looking raggedy because I knocked over the pots back when they were just seeds. Well, I didn't knock it over the wind did. But it is wheatgrass that I grew back in March. March the 5th. That's the date I have on there, March the 5th. Yes. I can cut it. Like, I already cut it. But I can cut this, put this in the juicer, and have a good morning kick. And then all you see is all my other stuff. These are all the pots where I was growing something and it died. <laughs> and then I have my soil here. That I already mixed together pro light and the soil I think what I'm gonna do is add some uh, uh, some bone and blood meal into it and mix it together so it'll be ready to go roof is full bowl <laughs> I need to clean up this area here I have just the, um, I, when it fell over, I tried to get as many seeds as I could, but I couldn't pick the seeds out of the soil. So what I did was I just threw all the soil that fell over out of the pots into here. And as you can see, I got radishes growing in here, huh? Yes, yes. All right. And this is my greenhouse. I just, the top's still right there. I just have not put the top on because I am actually going to move it up against that wall down there. Then we come over here and we got our pretty little area. I know it's hard to see it because the shade is right here, but we got stevia growing again i'm gonna have to take some pieces off and prune it back because this one and grew another little doohickey out of it each of them did now this one has three instead of two i'm gonna have to get some of those off dry some of those leaves dry them off grind them in the powder put them away till i need oh something's eating one of my plants look at that Look at them holes. Look at them holes. Look at that. What is this? My lemon balm. Man. More radishes. Carrots. Radishes. Strawberries. I got to prune back my peppermint. Look at this. I pruned it back last week. And it's growing like crazy. Radish. There's nothing in there. <laughs> uh, strawberries. Carrots. Radishes. This one here is chocolate mint. I need to prune this with a little puppy back too. 
Yeah. So now we're going to go take a look at what else I have in the garden. All right. My sweet banana pepper. I have some more blooms. A bloom. Um, I had a bloom here, but as you can see, there's a pepper growing from it now. Here goes some more that's ready to bloom out. Mm, somebody been eating my plant. And look at that. Look at, look, look, look. What you say now? 